Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through a leg workout which is going to be mostly glute focused. And before we get started, I want to tell you to make sure that you are always warming up before your workouts. It is so important. How I like to warm up is I like to do some lunges, some squats, I like to do crab walks, fire hydrants, kickbacks, and things like that with just my body weight, no weights, just to get your muscles warmed up. You want to prevent injury as much as possible. Also, if you're waiting, and not while uh, warming up, you're not gonna get your muscles activated until halfway through your workout, which is not good. So make sure you warm up. Also, I want to tell you to always incorporate compound movements into your workout. You want to do squats, deadlifts, lunges, things like that. I know all these Instagram workouts are like crazy and they're like super technical and stuff like that. I'm trying to stay away from those. If you want to do accessory workouts also, they're really great, but compound workouts are what you want to uh, make your legs and so with that being said, let's go start with some squats. Alright guys, now we're going to start off with some squats. What I want to tell you before we get started is to make sure that you're going low enough, really squeezing your glutes at the top, taking your time and breathing. So, let me show you. All right guys, next we have the split squat. This is one of the ones I hate the most, but it's the best. With this one, you want to make sure that your knee and ankle is aligned. Don't let your knee go over your ankle. And you wanna make sure you're pushing through your heels and squeezing your glutes at the top. So let's go. the split squat if you trouble with balance like I do don't look side to side to try to find a good position look straight ahead keep your eyes straight ahead the whole time when you're going down because once you look to the side you're gonna lose your balance that's really helped me so give that a try all right guys now we have the hyper extension with this one you want to make sure you're going really down low and activating those hamstrings when you go down small movements up keep your butt squeezed at all times and keep your um, shoulders a little hunched over. I'll show you guys. This is how you'll really, really feel it. Okay guys, next we have a sumo squat. This is when your feet are gonna be spread apart and pointed to the side. I'll show you guys. Anything for your feet, are in that sumo position is really going to target your glutes and your inner thigh. It's really, really important to um, incorporate sumos into your workouts if you're trying to grow your booty. Okay guys, now we have the hip abduction. This is really going to work your glutes. It doesn't look like it's doing much, but it really does. Make sure you're going heavy as possible doing as many reps as you can and keep your back off of this. Keep your back straight up like I am and then just open and really just slowly come in and out and feel the burn. Okay guys, next we have hip thrust. With these, you're going to come down and when you come up at the top, you're going to want to Make sure your whole stomach and chest, everything is completely flat. I know it sounds confusing, but when you see me doing them, you'll know what I mean. Squeeze your glutes to the top, take your time, slow and controlled always. And make sure when you're on the bench, it's right under your shoulder blades. Come all the way to the top, squeeze. 